The tick command is one of, if not the coolest commands in all of commands, and today we're going to be covering it all. From making Minecraft move at hyperspeed to literally pausing time, this is some of the most fun I've had with Minecraft in years. I'm going to be showing you everything you need to know about the tick command, so let's get right into it. As you could imagine, the tick command deals with Minecraft ticks. But Rick BJ, what are Minecraft ticks? Although we may think of ticks as little annoying creatures that like to eat you up when you go on hikes, Minecraft ticks are actually way different. One tick in Minecraft is equivalent to one instance of the game code being run, or one instance of the game loop being run. Everything from mob AI to crop growth to the game responding to your interactions, everything runs on ticks. The normal Minecraft ticks per second is 20. So Minecraft runs its code 20 times for every real life second. Okay, 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 that makes sense. I'm sure you could have figured this all out yourself. Let's get into the tick command. If we run slash tick in our chat, we're met with six different options. Freeze, query, rate, sprint, step, and unfreeze. Let's start with query because it's the simplest one. As you can see, if we run slash tick query, it will calculate the current ticks per second, as well as a bunch of other mumbo jumbo, and put it into chat. Look at that. Target tick rate 20 ticks per second. It basically just tells us what I told you, that the game runs at 20 ticks per second. Not all that useful, but it will become more useful when we get into our next command slash tick rate. Yes, this one is super fun. If we put slash tick rate, into chat, we are met with one autocomplete option. The autocomplete is like if I was here and I scrolled through using tab, but this just comes up with 20. If we run slash tick rate 20, it says set the target tick rate to 20 ticks per second. And if we do slash tick query, it says the game runs normally at a rate of 20 ticks per second. Okay, well that was kind of pointless. We set the game to the tick rate that it was already at. What if we set it to, say, 21 ticks per second? Well, look at that. And again, if we use slash tick query, we can see that the game is running one tick faster than it normally does. Though it's not all that noticeable. One tick per second is such a small difference that you're basically not gonna be able to notice anything, even if the game is slightly running faster. So what if we set it to something more substantial, like say 40? There we go. Now you can see villagers are moving much faster, squid are moving faster, the fish are even moving way faster. But you'll notice I'm not moving faster at all. My character is still flying normally, sprinting normally, jumping normally. Setting the tick rate to a tick rate higher than the original 20 doesn't change your speed. It only changes the speed of the actions of the world around you. Look at the pig go zoom. I can punch him and he's just gonna go completely haywire. I'm sure you can already see tons of potential. Imagine Minecraft mini games where you're fighting mobs that are a hundred times faster. There's so much you can do with the tick command, it's kind of crazy. Now let's set it to something absurdly high, like a thousand. There we go, that villager just zoomed past. But what you may notice is that the game is definitely not running at 50 times faster than it normally is. If we do slash tick query, it says the target tick rate is 1000 ticks per second, but that's only the target tick rate, what it's trying to keep up with. And we can see it says the game is running but can't keep up with the target tick rate. After some rigorous testing, I found out that my game is running at approximately 50 ticks per second. And it does vary from time to time. Your results may vary. All right, we've experimented with setting the tick rate to something super high, but what about if we set the tick rate to something lower than 20? Let's check that out. We just set the tick rate to 10 ticks per second. And as you can see, the mobs are moving way slower. Also. I'm moving way slower. Even though when we set the tick rate to something higher than 20, our character doesn't get affected at all, setting the tick rate to something lower than 20 does make an impact on us. And a very visible one at that. It's actually kind of painful, but also really cool at the same time. What if we set the tick rate to, say, 1? Oh my 
Goodness. I feel like I have the worst lag ever. Just to show you how bad this is, I'm going to amplify the noise of my mouse clicking, and then you wait to see how long it takes for my fist to actually punch. Massive delay. But you may ask, how do you freeze the game like you did at the very beginning of the video? You would assume you would use a command like slash tick rate zero. But unfortunately, that doesn't work. Float must not be less than 1.0, found at 0, 0.0. You can't set the tick rate to something lower than 1. Also, this is a good time to point out that you can set the tick rate to a decimal number. Wait, so you're telling me I could set the tick rate to my favorite 3.14159265358979323846? Pi to the 20th decimal. Okay, let's stop getting distracted. So if we can't use slash tick rate zero to freeze the game, what should we do? Well, look no further than our next command, slash tick freeze. Using slash tick freeze, completely freezes every action in the game except for player interactions. I can still punch blocks, I can still hit mobs, but everything else, nothing, nothing is happening. It's just so surreal to see Minecraft like this. It's honestly actually kind of creepy as well. And naturally you would presume that to undo this, we would use slash tick unfreeze. Slash tick freeze and unfreeze are just the opposites of each other. There is so much map making or mini game or challenge making potential. It is unbelievable. And with that, let's look at our final two commands. Slash tick step and tick sprint. Let's try to run slash tick step and just see what happens. We're given three options, one S, one T, and stop. Let's try 1S. Huh, well, it gives us an error. How about 1T? Nope, still an error. How about stop? Well, let's look at the error messages to try to figure out what's happening. If we look here, when we ran slash tick step 1S and 1T, it gave us this error message. Unable to step the game, the game must be frozen first. Let's do slash tick freeze, freeze the game, and then use step using slash tick step lets us unfreeze the game for a specific allotted amount of time. In this case, one second. And if we say did one T, yep, as suspected, one tick. But what about stop? What does that do? Well, it says a tick step must be in progress. Hold on, I'm gonna have to be quick here. Bang, we use slash tick step stop Say that five times fast to get more precision in our step. What about slash tick sprint? Is it similar to tick step? Well, yes it is. 1D is one day, 3D is three day, and 60 seconds is, well, one minute. And of course we can stop any of these by using tick sprint, stop. You do not need to just input the values that they assign here. I could do 5s for five seconds, or, well, I have to freeze the game first. As I was saying, you could do 5s for five seconds. You could do, say, eight ticks for, well, eight ticks. And naturally, the same applies for tick sprint. But keep in mind that no matter the current tick speed that you set with slash tick rate, slash tick step or sprint, and then a value then s always steps in multiples of 20 ticks. Okay, I said that really weird. Let me try to describe that further. Of course, the normal tick speed is well 20 ticks per second. So stepping for one second is equivalent to 20 ticks. Even if I set the tick rate to something absurdly high again, like a thousand, and then sprinted for say one second, it still only did it for 20 ticks, not one whole second. I don't know why it acts like this, but I guess it does make sense. Hold on, I just got a nasty idea. One second. Oh yes, look at that, the carnage. 
All right, I'll end off the video while I fall in slow motion. And oh my goodness, I just realized you can like pose while you're in slow motion. Like I look sick right now. Look like Superman. Anyways, I want to thank you all very much for watching. Let me know in the comments what kind of content you want to see coming up, whether it be more command tutorials like these or mini games or whatever. I'm very excited to see what all new stuff y'all come up with using the really cool slash tick command. And I'll catch you in the next video. God bless.